Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to learn about how to configure a log4j.xml file into our project, Java project and how we can able to print into the files. Okay. And in previous video, I explained like how we can able to add two jars for the log4j and how we can able to create our property file okay how we can able to print into our logs correct the same way now we are going to see for log4j.xml i'm just uh, renaming this one because what will happen in case tomorrow if you are adding, adding two files like log4j.properties and log4j.xml file what will happen first it will search for log4j.property file then it will search in case if there is no log4j dot property file then it will go for log4j dot xml file otherwise it will go here and it will run okay now everything is ready and i'm just i'm going to hitting for my program but before that what exactly it is presented in xml file see here what what are the things like configuration in that configuration what is that warn okay in the property where we want to store that base path if you are mentioning the log s yes, then it will search for log 6 and where it is the folder is present in the project and it will go ahead and if it is not there then it will add it appending and file logger the base path dot here in the base path log logs and inside that app.log and what is the pattern of that that particular name of that main and date dot log okay inside that pattern it is providing for this format of the session message story okay once it is storing then up to what base it is like 10 mb up to 10 mb it will you can able to provide the file size also and once it is completed then just we are using for root level like info and false and we are going to appending that file correct up to here simple one there is no much you can able to go ahead for search for in your local like uh, sample xml file then you can able to get it uh, so many options you can go ahead and uh, copy paste that in your local and try more okay then you will get more uh, like good comparing to mine also you will get a uh, good good uh, ways and just i'm running here once it is passed then just i'm going to refreshing this page and i need to see logs place up okay once you open here also the same way how it is displaying the previous the same way correct now see here also the same structure of message it is there and the app also presented the same way nothing much correct the message how we printed the same way it is printed for xml file also if you are using different different course it will maybe extra fields may be added but the simple structure is this one you can able to add simple and you can able to add it anything i hope you like this video if you like this video please like my video and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you